Hey there, welcome to .NET Techie. So this is Deep Gautam here of .NET Techie YouTube channel, and today I have come with very interesting video for you guys where I have done a lot of hard work and I'm trying to display the product catalog in my shopping cart website. So how to bind the product details with the product images that I'm gonna to show you and what all the steps I have followed and what is the HTML, what is the type script code, everything I'm gonna to tell you. So just stay tuned with me for another five, six minutes and I will make sure that you will learn everything. So what's next in this slide? This is how my product display, product catalog page will look like where you will be having the product detail with the images and that's what we are fetching from the web api all the product details and all the images and we are displaying the category wise all right so let's next move to next slide so here i'm gonna to make sure that you will learn product catalog view you will learn dynamic binding of images with the product details i will make sure that you will be able to make a http call from your angular application to the restful api and get the product details and then how you can bind the those images in your angular application and uh, what you can say that uh, dynamically how, how you can identify the image it belongs to which product that's what you're gonna to learn those who have not watched my previous video and if they are into basic level beginners labels i would request you to go to watch my angular 6 shopping website playlist where i am having till now four videos this is going to be the fifth videos where in the first video i have created an angular project use the bootstrap and shown how to design the header or navigation menu. in the second video i have created a reactive registration form where I have performed the validation, you could go and watch that second video as well. On the third video, I have done the token based authentication and authorization in Angular 6, making a call to RESTful API and getting the token, storing the token into client side and getting the roles of that particular user. That's what we have done in third video. In fourth video, I have done the seller reactive form where we were able to upload the product details along with the images and our images were getting stored into server. So that's what we have done in fourth video. So in, uh, in earlier video, we have uploaded the product details and images. Now this video, we are gonna to show whatever we have uploaded. All right, so what is the what was my design strategy behind this? So first of all, simple terms, just consider this theory and try to understand the concept how I'm binding that product display uh, page. So I have designed a page container. Inside that, I have taken a div and used the ng4 and display the product by category. Then third thing I have done, inside that category list, I'm displaying all the products again using ng4. After that, uh, the important part is like how you can bind the images. So images you could bind like this. That's what we have done. We will see in the code in action very soon. And uh, next thing, uh, like last uh, TD, we have put the add to card button, which is going to be the next tutorial, add to card and then place the order. So that's uh, all. Let me go and directly jump on the code for you guys. It's all right. So first of all, I wanted a model which can hold, which can hold my product details based on the category wise. So initially, in the earlier tutorial, we have created a product model. So what I did, I did, I, I created a product display model over here and then set the category and under each category we will be having n number of products that this is my product display model all right let us go to the html and see as i said that this is my container this is my container where i'm holding everything here in another div i'm holding the category and showing into header after that under each category i'm having a table where i am binding up the basically images 
images and the product details so all right let me go here and say the word wrap yeah word wrap is on now so we have done this product detail mapping like this and dynamically it will generate the product display page and this is the part which where image is getting binded after that like a product name unit price and description we are binding then later we have added this add to card button let us go to the typescript file what all we have in typescript file in the typescript file we have just uh, included the product display model what we wanted to bind into html after that we have included a product service which will help me to get the data from my web api the school after that what i did basically all products i'm gonna to store into this product display type of array in the constructor i have injected the service on the ng on an act i'm calling a service which will help me to fetch all the products so let us go and uh, check what is written in service so in the service file when i look at the method get all products this is the only simple call which i'm making to api and getting the product all right so once you got the product there is corresponding uh, part and uh, all product will be assigned to this one this is the just a test line of the code which is like not required at all so that's what we have done in angular side and let us go and see the bare api how i am able to fetch the product with the category details so here it is coming to this method where i'm getting all the products by category and displaying them so i have binded like this all the product then image to byte array i have converted that image to byte array so that in my html i'm able to bind the image directly rather than storing that image in client side so that's the beauty of this thing this is how i have selected all the product details so cool let me show you this in action quickly i will go over here and in my dashboard page i will try to add one product over here so let me say redmi 6 pro black redmi 6 pro black i have added no it should come over here bangalore india I have given the address description it is from Xiaomi China all right price let's say 12,999 and the category it belongs to electronic and available quantity let's say 80 and let's say any so quickly I will go here I, I will save these details and this will be saved and will navigate to all right so my product detail has been saved let me see whatever the product details i have said whether i am able to see into my product catalog page or not so here is my product catalog page where i am able to see redmi 6 pro black which i have uploaded just recently so while uploading you just need to take care of the image size and all redmi 6 pro black it's price 12,919 geometry china and you could do add to card as well so that's how i have done the product catalog display page hope you like it let me take you my slide for your own benefit what's next thing so for what's next add to card functionality we will go on, gonna to implement comment your questions comment your view request to subscriber the more important things i will uh, put some links on the description which you need to go through and will learn how to deploy this application in azure so that is for next we will deploy this whole application series if you happen to be in youtube just watch my playlist you will get a lot of meaningful video you just name the concept in angular and video exists in my playlist or in my channel just you need to find out the right video and the beauty of that i am able to provide the source code of all the video 
if you are facing any problem just comment out your questions i'm happy to help you thanks for watching this video thank you from dotnet techie please